So, I'll give a brief overview of what this is. Humans vs. Zombies is like a giant game of tag played with a thousand people, and there are two teams, the humans and the zombies. Uh, it's kind of like simulating a zombie apocalypse, but with nerf guns and we don't actually eat the brains. Um, so, I am John Gottfried, I am a history student at Stony Brook University, and completely unrelated, a developer at Flat World Knowledge, which is an uh, open textbook publisher. So, the entire website we have is built on CodeIgniter using PHP, BB as uh, forums and also the user system. Uh, this was just kind of how it was. Uh, there's actually a fork of another project, but um, that's a bit of an overview. So, the big problem we had is that when you have a thousand students running around pretending to be killing each other, it can get a bit hectic, um, and the game is kind of augmented reality in the sense that the website keeps track of everyone's status as a player, and also different rewards and activities going on. And in the past, we had primarily used email and word of mouth to get that information around, but that kind of uh, proved limiting when the game grew to be a thousand people from four hundred people. Uh, so, we use Twilio to send out instant messages and also receive instant data back. So, the first thing we had to do was find a phone number. Um, people can be very forgetful, so I wanted to have a number with something recognizable in it. In this case, SBHBZ, which is Stony Brook Humans Birth Zombies. Um, and proved pretty simple. Uh, it was one GET request, and I had my number, and then I just registered it through the API, and voila, we had a personalized phone number for everyone to text into. So, I have some code examples here to show really just how simple it is that we, you know, are sending mass text, receiving mass text, and using Twilio. So this is kind of it looks kind of like gibberish, but really, it's a wrapper I made to send SMS messages. Um, before we used Twilio, I basically had a array of like different gateways. You know how you can email to a phone number? Um, that's what we used previously, so I kind of just swapped that out and said, okay, we're going to use Twilio instead. Uh, the only time we're sending SMS out is to our registered users, so this takes in the user's ID number and the message and whether or not to check if they're active, um, which I will get to now. So, in kind of a competitive game like this, people often um, want to play the system a little bit <laughs> to gain an advantage. So, we have a simple user verification. Um, when you put your phone number in on the website, a code is generated, it's a simple random number, and then it is texted to the user to tell them what to enter back on the website. Uh, then they can log on the website here and verify their code to confirm that their cell phone number actually does belong to them. Uh, and that was used through the little SMS wrapper there. This is all a mess here, but really, <laughs> That little Android snapshot there is how simple this system was. Um, in Humans vs. Zombies, players can feed on each other, which basically means that they tag them and turn them into a zombie. So, in the past, you would have to go to a computer or a laptop, log onto the website, and enter a code, which is randomly generated and uh, is unique to one player. So what I did was I adapted our previous web form to a SMS app that lets you text into the SBHVZ number and submit a player's code, and it will automatically recognize it and tell you whether it was valid or not. And it updates the player's status and does all the fancy stuff. 
So what that really allowed us to do was have real-time updates rather than waiting an hour or two hours or however long someone took to get to a computer. Instead, you have, you know, like that. Um, we also have real-time notifications. So when someone is having their status change, aka okay, being fed on, we send out a notification telling them, okay, you're a zombie now, go eat some people. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, it didn't go there. Ah! We also used to send out mass notifications. Um, we have different missions going on throughout the game. They're kind of like fun uh, activities, games within the game um, that people participate in. And as I said in the past, we used email as the only method of notification. So we would be sending out you know, thousands of emails per day, and 10% you know, of the people would get them or see them in time. So instead, I have a Twilio SMS mass notification system that goes through our database and sends a message to everyone there so that we can send out a thousand text messages at a time and have people instantly know what is going on when. Uh, we use this for missions and also for emergency notifications and you know, uh, mini updates. So that is that. Um, basically, what Twilio allowed us to do was to take a system that worked, but didn't necessarily work in the context of our game, being a real-time sort of activity, and turn it into a actually real-time activity where people can participate instantly and make the game go a lot smoother and also more fun because you don't have to wait two hours to do something. So that's that. Cool. Thanks, Al.